Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I hope you guys are having a good day. And if you are not, then I got something for you, Betsy. I found this in the trash. I was having a self-care day the other day and was kind of just chilling on my couch, was gonna watch some TV, you know. And then I started scrolling on YouTube Shorts. And YouTube Shorts are really addicting, okay? Like, I can't get enough of them. Like, they just keep popping up on my feet. I can't help it. You don't need, like, open YouTube now and it just opens YouTube Shorts automatically. It's like, girl, what? 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 I was trying to look for a YouTube video and now I'm here. Do you own an iPad? <laughs> I hate it. Anyways, point is, is I came across this video <laughs> and I need to talk about it because it's pissing me off. It's actually the third video I've gotten from the same guy, JD the camera guy. He makes a lot of these photo tips, coffee photo tip to impress your friends. Okay. You know, I like to impress my friends with photos of my coffee. All right, got it. Don't take your photos like that. Disgust. I ever seen you, Bestie, take your photos like that. It's on sight. Um, sorry guys. Ah, uh, uh, my finger stuck. Oh, did you guys see that? Not you biting me. Anyways, but yeah, he likes to start off in his videos by telling you, don't take your photo like that. No, you're stupid. This man loves to tell us to stop doing things that we weren't gonna do in the, to begin with. He said, don't take your photos like this. Babe, I'm not gonna take a photo of my coffee if it's looking like this, first of all. That looks like uranium. What are the little floaties or particles in it? <laughs> you disgust me, all right? At least get a better subject for your photo because what is this? Looks like it has my floating toenails in it. I don't know what you said to the waitress when you ordered this coffee, but I, I think she's trying to kill you. I think she's actually just trying to like, Poison you, babe. That's good that he's just taking photos of it instead of drinking it. At least there's that. Get some milk and cream on the side. Switch that parchment mode. A lot of steps. Lower the F-step, all right. A lot of steps so far. Use a 16 by nine aspect ratio. Girl, I don't have all day. My coffee's evaporating, hurry up. Lower the exposure to negative one, okay. Click and hold the screen to focus. <laughs> wow, these are such good tips. Did you see what, that what did that even say? Lower the sundial. Yeah, let me just go to the sun and... <laughs> what does that even mean? Sundial? I didn't know all these settings even existed. Anyways. <laughs> okay, now pour the milk in there. Ugh, ugh, why is the milk? It looks like glue. Wow, final result. Um, looks like you're pouring glue into a, a cup of radioactive uranium. This is gonna impress the voice for sure. Guys, look at this photo I just took. Wait, where's my phone? Seriously, where is it? I need it. Bro, look, look at this. Look at this photo of coffee that I just took. You like it. You love it. I know his friends are sick of him. They're sitting right huh? there. I love how he's just in the restaurant doing this with this cup of coffee. Coffee photo tip to impress your friends. Meanwhile, his friends just sitting across the table. They're like, hold on guys. I got to set the sundial down. All right, to 2.5. Bro, you said you were going to impress us with this coffee photo like 10 minutes ago. I got to go to work. Hurry up. Oops, forgot to turn my camera around. All right, what? here we go. Wow, Jeremy. That coffee looks radioactive, literally. <laughs> yes, exactly. Somebody else sees my vision. It's not even a bad photo. It's just like, okay, bro, you're just trying to sell your presets and we see that. We know that. What happened to this photo? This is the photo. Like, this is what it actually looked like. And now he's over here just editing the frick out of it and with this presets. <laughs> How to take better photos. Don't do it like that. Buy my presets. I hate influencers like this. And I know what you guys are thinking, Ravon. If you don't like these tutorials, then don't watch them. Babe, I'm trying. But it's not really up to me. It's up to YouTube and what they think I want. And apparently they think I want to take photos of my coffee. And also take photos of myself on the plane looking like real stupid. Because look at this next one that I got recommended. Airplane photo on your smartphone? Uh, I guess. Easy enough. Oh, okay. Don't take it like that. Got it, got it. Don't ever take a selfie. Unless... He uses presets. Here he goes again telling us what to do. Don't take your photo like this. I already did. And I posted it. And what are you going to do about it? I'll be right back. Guys, don't take your photos like that. Okay, well, how do you take your photos on an airplane then? Let's see. Let's see. Use your back camera. Of course, it's better quality. <laughs> stupid, stupid. You're stupid. Revive. Do better. 
Go over to porch remote. Okay, mm typical. Of course, we want to get that high quality DSLR effect. Drop your exposure to negative two. Okay, already doing too much. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna be so real with y'all. Who is taking their photos like this? Nobody! Nobody's taking their photos like this, JD. Like. Oh, hey, sorry. I'm just. Just admiring the view. Like, bro. Go back to your seat. Back this is just creepy. You're all up in my space. I'm just trying to read my book. We haven't even taken off yet, bro, and you're doing this. Huh? Nobody is taking their photos like this. You know why? Because it looks stupid. You're just looking out the window like you got to poop. <laughs> what would even be the caption to this? Got to poop, but this view just goes hard. <laughs> window seats a blessing and a curse at the same time. It's like I got the view, but I also got a poo. Which one is it? I'm choosing the view. I don't even know, bro. If you're taking your photos like this, babe, give me your phone. Give it to me right now. Give All right, you're grounded. Anyways, I, I just don't like these videos and these tutorials because it's like, I didn't ask. Nobody did, I'm sure. All right, so stop wasting our time by telling us to take our okay photo. Like, this photo's fine. Just, just the most dramatic photo I've ever seen. Like, straight out of a movie, bitch. This looks like a scene out of Final Destination. Like, he knows what's coming. The fact that he doesn't even post his Instagram photos says a lot. Says that he looks back at these photos and is like, um... <laughs> Yeah, good thing I'm not posting that one. This man only does tutorials. It's like, bro, a white claw? Huh? This man takes every photo and turns it into a tutorial somehow. Still taking your mirror selfies line in. <laughs> yeah, I am. Jay the camera guy. With your all-in-one shampoo, conditioner, and body wash in the bag. Let's see how he takes mirror selfies. Have the sun shining on the side of your face. Okay, what if the sun doesn't come from that way? Like, bro, not all of us have the same exact bathroom as you. This man just assumes that we are living as life. Like, yeah, okay, let me just go into the, the wall of my bathroom. Okay, what's the next step? Oh my God. Doing so much. Contour mode? Two hours later. Girl, it's been an hour. You're still taking this photo? <laughs> what I'd be doing while the shower's running? Bro, take the photo! Do it! Oh. Just do it already! Look at yourself in the eye. <laughs> it's not even the same photo. Because you know he took a hundred. Because that was the most awkward angle I've ever seen. Like, goddamn, just take the photo already. I'm not doing that with myself. I actually have pride. I actually have respect for myself because I'm not putting myself through that just to take one fucking photo. I mean, okay, you know, the end result, it's fine. But oh my God. all the tips were just too specific. Like, have the sun shining through your window on the left side of your face. Bruh, yeah, let me just call like my contractor really quick. I'm sick of all the tutorials. Stop posting so many tutorials. Ow, my brain, my brain can't take it. Creative way to take your pool photo. Your next pool photo. Oh, I'm sorry. Not this way. Don't ever do it that way. All right, you're doing it wrong and you look stupid. But yeah, once again, starting off by telling, telling us what to do. It's like, bro, can I just live my life for two seconds? Like, God. Have two balls lined up ready to shoot. Oh, now you're just messing with the pool game now. Like, imagine you're in the middle of a pool game and you're like, hold on, bro. Let me just... Dude, what the fuck? Hold on, dude. I'm just trying to get a good photo. Show your balls. Literally. <laughs> 0.5x zoom. Oh. Doing the most already. Turning the camera upside down. What is that? What the fuck is this photo? This photo just looks gross. All right, stop telling us what to do. JD, the camera guy. We're gonna take photos how we wanna take photos. And it's definitely not gonna be like this. Look at the bottom of this ball. Ugh. I'm not about to take my next pool photo like this. This man looks like his head's about to explode. This photo, it just look nasty. It looks nasty. It looks like I'm hanging out with the wrong crowd of people like, oh, okay. Cool party. Uh, why is this man? 
Why does he have a tourniquet? Okay, uh, they're doing drugs. All right, I gotta go. It's just all, it's so intense. It's not how I'm trying to take my photos for the millionth time. JD, the camera guy, like, this is not how we want to take our photos. This is why your Instagram photos look terrible. Oh my God. <laughs> Says you. Oh wait, you don't have any Instagram photos, fuck. Damn, he got us. But now I gotta watch, cause he's actually just coming for us here. Just straight up, your Instagram photos look terrible. Hey! Have you seen my Instagram? I've seen yours and there's no photos. So who are you to talk? Okay, so let's see. Put your camera low. What? Now I'm just gonna look stupid at the park all. JD the camera guy taught me this one. Oh, <laughs> and got it, got it. Okay. Oh, my phone died. Because by the time you're done doing all these settings, it will be dead. Anyway, I'm, I'm being so dramatic. All he did was two things. <laughs> Put your camera low and rotate your phone. And I'm over here like, here we go. Lean against an object. From this. I think I know why I hate this. Because this is exactly how I used to take photos. And now I look back at those photos and I'm like, you're so fucking cringe. Why would you do that? But yeah, JD the camera guy, this is pretty much all he does. You would think that he posts these photos himself, and I thought he did. You know, I thought I was being mean, like coming for this man's Instagram feed. Girl, he doesn't even have an Instagram feed. Like, he doesn't post any of these photos. He, d he doesn't have the gall to actually post them, but he has the gall to make all these tutorials for them. Girl. You need to calm down. You're not that amazing. Anyways, uh, but yeah, it's just like, bro, take your own advice. How are you gonna post all these tutorials on how to take photos the right way? Meanwhile, you're not even posting any of them. I think you don't think this is the right way. I think you were like looking back at these and being like, mm, yeah, I would never post that. But we got a good tutorial going. All he wants to do is sell his presets, but I'm not buying your preset for $40. How expensive this is. 80% off sale and soon. Maybe you've been saying that for 10 years. No way anybody paid $200 for this preset that was made in 2015. Literally, look at this website. It looks like it was made in 2015. Anyways, you know what? I'm gonna actually give this man a chance. I, you know, I actually feel like I've followed this man before. Like this photo, profile photo looks like it's from 2015. And this is someone I would follow in 2015. Just someone with the most like blue ass water travel influencer preset ever. This man has 4.6 million followers. He has to be good at something. And maybe it's the presets. So honestly, I'm about to put these presets to good use because so far he hasn't. I'm gonna actually see if I can take an Instagram photo um, that I would post with these presets. So let's get to it. Let's go do a photo shoot. Hey guys, and welcome to the first photo that we are going to take JD the camera guy style. We got our cup of coffee right here. Look at it. And we even got the iPad for uh classic JD the camera guy at the tour. So I guess we'll take a before photo, you know. Boring, disgusting, get out of my face with that photo, it's not professional. Here's a new aspect ratio, how do you do that? All right, time to add the cream. I don't know, this is a lot of work to impress my friends. I don't even have friends, there's nobody here. Okay. I think I just put way too much cream in my coffee and now my day is ruined. Okay, so JD the camera guy, uh, thanks for coming through with our amazing professional portrait mode photo. Jazzy, watch the tripod. Okay, bro, I'm doing a reveal. No respect in this house. Don't talk back. She fucking sneezed on my purse. Just now. You nasty. So the next photo that we're gonna take is one by the window. We're gonna try to kind of recreate that window aesthetic that he had going on in the airplane. And I know I said I was gonna do my own types of photos. Girl, I am. I really have a wig. Because we're gonna look very, like, cinematic, dramatic, scare my neighbors a little bit. I don't know. Maybe let the candle light my hair on fire. I don't know guys. But all I know is that we need a whole iPad to follow this tutorial. And that's another thing. It's like, <laughs> you need so much equipment. The apparatus is crazy just to take one fucking photo. Because if you're gonna follow his tutorial, you gotta do it on another device. So yeah, I have to have it all up on my iPad. It's kind of annoying. Let's watch the tutorial. Drop your exposure. Okay, got it. Okay, okay. Exposure. Okay. Exposure. Okay. 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 Mine's already better. Cause I'm not breathing on somebody's shoulder while doing it. Look at these angles, guys. I'm really serving. 
I mean, I'm really telling a story. Like, this has some lore behind it already. Like, this photo is just serving, like, very much. He better be there when I land. I'll cut his dick off. All right, guys, we are in this stew right now, and we got our photo finally in Lightroom. I was trying to download the presets on my phone, and it just w didn't work. So then I tried downloading it on my computer, and it didn't work. I didn't know how to install the presets, so I went to the How to Install tab, and it just said, check the links on my homepage, jdthecameraguy.com. Oh, okay. More, more JD the Camera Guy content. Great. So then I looked up a YouTube tutorial to figure out how to install these Lightroom presets, and then I did. And then this happened. Oh. And would you look at that? There were errors in converting custom developed presets to XMP. JD the camera guy, what is good? You know what? I'm gonna just do, I'm gonna make his preset myself. Five minutes later. Uh, okay. There you guys go. All right, I made the preset myself. Looks just like it. Because this man is deceiving us. This man is actually stuck in like 2015. Like he must be actually just in a coma. Like a walking coma, like he's sleepwalking in his coma. And he just doesn't realize it's been 10 years. Babe, wake up. Your preset's not working.